All right, guys, today we're going to make a new game in MIT App Inventor called Get the Gold. So first thing is in the tutorial, um, you'll have to go ahead and get the components. So when you go into MIT App Inventor um, in the tutorials, I'll show you here for Get the Gold. It gives you all the instructions here, but you'll need to click on the pirate ship to download it, um, and you'll need to click on the coin uh, and then right click and save it and download it. Um, so today we're going to use uh, the clock component, the clock timer, and um, some collision events to create a game where a pirate ship collects coins. So it's a pretty simple um, program. Uh, your designer view will look like this at the end. And pay close attention to this table because if you're, if you're looking at what you're supposed to do and where you can get that from, this table helps you out. Um, what you're supposed to name it and the purpose of it. Okay, um, when we switch over to the block view, this will be real helpful to uh, just compare what you have. And at the very end, if you want to look at the complete program, this is exactly how your program should look. Now we're going to create the Get the Gold app. So you see over here, I've got the title Get the Gold. I've already named it. Um, I'm in the Drawing and Animation palette group, and I'm going to drag out the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and change the height to Fill Parent and change the width to fill parent because it makes dragging out the next components a lot easier um, because we're going to drag those on top of the canvas. So um, I'm going to drag out five image sprites. We're just going to kind of place them anywhere. And then those five will be the coins and then we'll drag out one more image sprite and that will be the pirate ship. The other components that we need to put in here are the reset button. So the button should be under the interface. I'm going to put that down at the bottom. And the last one will be in the sensors uh, drawer, and it will be the clock. And you drag that on here, but it will show that it's a non-visible component down here. So now when we look at the canvas, that's going to be the background. Um, and you can upload an image or, you know, make it like the C or, you know, just a blank blue screen, whatever you want to do for that. I'm just going to do a default color of blue since, you know, it's, we got a ship going on top of it. Um, now for the image sprites, um, right now I'm just going to keep them uh, labeled as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 um, because those will be the coins. But uh, the sixth one I'm going to create, and I'm just going to rename it and make it pirate ship and honestly it doesn't hurt we can go and rename these you know coin one coin two coin three coin four and there we go we have all of our sprites named now this button here I'm going to rename it I'm going to rename it to uh, reset button okay and we'll keep clock one as clock one now what we've got to do is we've got to change some of the properties here so on the we'll go with the button first since we're already on it we're going to change the text over here to the side uh, where it says text for button. I'm going to change that to reset and then we'll see that it's changed that there. All right. When we go to the coins, I'm just going to upload those files um, that we looked at earlier. So here's the gold coin. Okay. And the pirate ship. And whenever we have the coin here, uh, we'll look over, let's see, under picture, and we'll change that to gold coin. Say OK. We'll do that for each one of them. OK. Pirate ship, we'll change that to pirate ship. 
there we go. Um, and then let's see what else do we need to do. We need to change the clock interval timer to 2000. And on the pirate ship, we also need to change the speed to, um, to 6. We're first going to work with a pirate ship. So how do we fling the pirate ship? So we're going to click on pirate ship over here, and we're going to drag this out when pirate ship flung. Okay. And now we have all these different things. Now you can actually take and you can drag out those different um, pieces from there, um, but we don't need to do that yet. We'll go ahead and click back on pirate ship, and we'll scroll. And what do we want it to do? Well, we want to set the pirate ship heading to get heading. You can hit these drop down uh, um, menus to change that by the way too. So here's heading so we can drag that out get heading. Alright so to prevent it from moving off the screen we're also going to use a pirate sh uh, the pirate ship bounce. So down here when I click on it we'll look at the when it reaches the edge so when the edge when pirate ship edge reached what do we want it to do we want to go in here and we want to call the pirate ship bounce edge and then here we'll hover over that and say get edge all right the next thing we're going to do uh, are moving the coins we want the coins to move in random positions on the screen. So we're going to use the clock one timer and the image sprites move to method to do this. When clock one timer goes off, we want all of our gold coin image sprites to move to a new random location on the canvas. We'll do this by using the sprite move to block. Move to takes in the two arguments, the x and the y coordinates on the canvas of a new position we want the sprite to move to. We want the sprite to move to a random location, so we'll use a random integer. All right. And that's going to be in the math block. So to do this, we have to pull out, we have to go to the clock, and we have to pull out when clock one timer. All right. And now we're going to call all the image sprites, which are the coins. So we want to call, well, let's see, the move to. All right, and then the next thing we're going to do is go into the math and find the random integer, random integer from one to a hundred. Click that in there. All right, and then we're going to change these. We're going to go from zero. We're going to come over here to the math drawer, and we're going to pull out the. Um, the one that has the subtraction sign. So we're going to fill these two pieces in um, with the canvas width and the image sprite width. So over here under canvas, click on canvas and then find the canvas width right here. Drag it in and then now we're going to find uh, the image sprite that we're on so that we're on coin one. So coin one All right, and the cool thing is we'll just take and say control V and copy that, paste that in there, and now we can change this from the width to the height with the drop down. And now we can take that entire section um, let's see. And then change that to coin two, and change this to coin two, coin two, right, and just keep going. Do it the same for coin three, coin three, coin three. Coin four, coin four. Four. 
And finally, coin five, coin five, coin five. So we have this set up for the clock timer. Okay. You can double click um, these events to collapse them. That helps to keep this a little clean. All right, so now we're going to work on the collision detection. So in App Inventor, it, it uh, detects collisions by doing a rectangular um, boundary around the image sprite. So we're going to use the um, pirate ship collide with event handler for the next piece. All right, so we want to look at the pirate ship and we want to go up to the events and where it says collided with. I'm going to drag that in. All right. Now, if it um, it's an it's an if then condition. So we want to go under control and look for the if then. So if it looks for the pirate ship colliding with another object and that other object is going to be in this instance the coin so. down at the bottom all right, so this says if the pirate ship collides with the coin one, then what do we want to do? Then we want to set this coin image visible to false. So set coin visible. To we have to look for the logic false, and true or false is a a, a boolean term. So that's all we have to do. Now we can copy and paste that event five times. And then change our coins from two to three to four to five. Perfect, and that's done. Now the final thing that we need to do uh, to complete the program is change the uh, reset button. So, or set, I uh, set up the reset button, excuse me. So when I click on the reset button, it says, hey, when reset button's clicked, what do I want it to do? Well, we're just using the visibility features here. So I'm gonna go to that same coin one where it said set visible, set visible. Put that in there, and I'm going to take the logic and go to this and say true. So we're going to turn them back on. So I can, again, copy and paste here. And we will change the coin to two, three, four, and five. And that should be the complete program.